You know that you're a generator or a manifesting generator, and you know that your strategy is to respond. But what does that actually mean? How do you actually work with that to respond strategy? Stick around because in today's video, we are going to dive a little bit deeper into what it means to respond and all the nuances and variances about that response that you might experience. Hello and welcome to, or welcome back to the Simply CA. My name is Alana and on this channel you are going to find both human design lifestyle coaching videos as well as yoga and fitness videos. If you are enjoying this content, don't forget to hit on that little subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. And let me know which videos you're really enjoying by giving it a thumbs up as well as maybe even sharing it out into Instagram. You can tag me at the Simply CA. As a manifesting generator or a generator, your strategy, your energy is to respond to the world around you. Allow the universe or the world or other people to offer up to you options in which you get to respond to. What does it mean to respond? And how can you actually integrate your sacral response into your everyday life? The sacral response is actually a body response. So it's about being embodied. It is a full body pull towards something or a full body pull away from something. If it is not a pulling towards or a pulling away, it can be a maybe, which could be a no, or it could be a not right now, which gets treated as a no. But what if you're not having a full body experience here? That just means that you need to strengthen your trust in your response. So start off with small, day-to-day, -day, simple decisions and feel the yes or the no, feel the pull towards or the aversion from and use that every single day in those little tiny decisions that you have. You can respond to a question that somebody asks you. Ideally, they've asked you a yes, no question. If they haven't, you can run it through a yes, no in your head. You could also respond to some sort of a stimuli out in the world. That could be a advertisement. That could be somebody's post on Instagram. It could be a YouTube video. It could also be information about a course offering in a college calendar. You can also respond to a list of options. And I'll tell you a little story about that in a few moments. There are a few deeper levels of the human design chart that really play into this. As a manifesting generator or as a generator, your aura, your energetic field pulls things to you. It magnetizes to you. And then your strategy is to respond to those options. And then you run your response through your authority. Now, if you are a generator or a manifesting generator and your authority is a sacral authority, guess what? Your response is your authority. It's done. It all flows in that one simple pattern and you're done. Except we're gonna get into one more thing, so stick around because there is a little caveat to that. Now, if you are a manifesting generator or a generator with an emotional authority, you have your sacral response and then you notice where you are on your emotional wave. If your emotional wave is on a high, you're gonna ride that emotional wave until it finds neutral. Holding that question in your mind loosely, if you are on your emotional wave and it's on a low, you're going to hold that question loosely in your mind and allow your wave to come back to neutral. If you feel that sacral response and you feel that your emotional wave is in that neutral place, then you get to act on that sacral response and call it done. I wanna layer in the splenic response as well. This is one that I personally have quite a bit of an affinity to because it is that intuitive inner knowing that happens before the sacral response and before your mind kicks in. So here's the story that happened today. When it comes to filming these YouTube videos, I have an ongoing list of ideas and in that list of ideas, some of those ideas are just kind of a random thought. 
Some of them are a fully formed idea and I have a total outline created. And some of them just remind me of what I meant when I had that idea. Now, when I go to film a video, I go through that list and I run it through my sacral authority. Now, what was really interesting about today is that one of the ideas that I had had a little spark to it. It had some excitement around it. I felt an impulse for it. And yet that's not the idea that I'm currently filming. The one that I am filming right now is the one that my body started writing the outline for. My body reacted to it. My body pulled me towards it. Now I call this a compulsion. And it's this thing where the manifester part of the manifesting generator follows an urge. It's an actual mm towards something. This is going to be different for a generator because that manifestor urge doesn't come into the play, doesn't come into play. So you've got your energy type, you've got your strategy to respond, you run that response through your authority, and here's that extra little piece. Your definition, and I'm not talking about what is defined and what is undefined, I'm talking about if you are split, triple split, or quad split, which means each section of your chart, of the defined area of your chart, isn't talking to other sections of your chart. Now you could be a sacral generator and have a triple split and not be able to act upon that sacral response because that triple split needs to test out the response in different environments and with different other energies to bridge those connections. And so for you, if you have a split, a triple or a quad split, it's important to allow yourself, even if you are a sacral generator and you think you should be able to respond in the moment, it's important for you to recognize that there's another layer to your chart and that extra layer means that it is correct for you to take a little bit more time and run your decision through a couple energies that allow you to reconnect those centers and those defined areas in your chart. I do have another video on that. I'll link it down in the description box below so that you can have a little bit more awareness of what it means when you're a split, triple, or quad split. As always, none of this is good or bad. None of this is right or wrong. This is about you getting to know yourself more deeply. This is about you honoring your natural energy. This is about you honoring your natural gifts, strengths, and abilities. This is about being you more. Really owning and stepping into the power of who it is to be you. And the more that you do this, the more that you own and step into who you are and honor your natural energy, the easier it gets. When you are pushing up against what is not natural for you, life is hard, life is sluggish. When you are stepping into and owning and expecting your energy to be there and to support you, life gets easier. You magnetize things towards you. You get to say yes or no to what it is that you want. If something is a maybe, call it a no. Send it back for a tweak here or there. And the more that you can step into your own power, the more that this will happen for you. Be confident in who you are because you being more you is going to help you, those around you, and it's gonna ripple out into the world. I hope this helps you to understand your unique response, that how the sacral responds to the world, how the energy type of the generator and the manifesting generator is called to respond. Let me know down in the comments section your experience of responding to the world around you. If you want more information on this and the sway test to help you tune into and trust your sacral response, I'll have the generator and manifesting generator full video down in the description box below. And in that video, I walk you through what the sway test is. 
If you haven't already done so, you know the drill. Click on that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, share it out to the people around you, and tag me in your Instagram if you so choose to do that, at the Simply CA. Until next time, have a wonderful day and enjoy this human design experiment.